Okay, yes. That's an American flag on the back, leads up into the side, and a Union Jack on my chest. Um, I would have worn my other shirt, but it's Ahmed the Dead Terrorist, and I don't think it would look as good on, um, on video, but yeah. Go Ahmed! Greetings, you fiddles! Anyway, yeah. anybody here watch Ahmed the Dead Terrorist? Anybody like Jeff Dunham? The dude is fucking a genius. Um, anyway, something's got me pissed off this morning, and, uh, being an atheist, it shouldn't, <laughs> I should be going, yeah, good for them, you know, but, no. Um, I forgot what state it's in, but some lady put an ad in the paper saying, Christian lady, um, looking for Christian roommate in the paper, you know, and, um, She's getting bitched at, and could also set, get fines from the state for violating the better, uh, the Equal Housing Act. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, okay, there's a problem on both sides here. First of all, all she had to do was a Christian, well, they said they could, that she could use their religion as a criteria for whether she rents to them or not, but she can't say that in the ad outright. You know, it's just one of those nudge, nudge, wink, wink kind of things, you know. And, um, I'm thinking, plus she put it, you know, Christian woman, she put the same ad in her church, you know. I would have, me, you know, I personally would have, you know, um, just put it in the church. Because, basically, the only church people are going to read that, and she's guaranteed to get a Christian roommate from the church. Somebody she already knows. I mean, why didn't she just go up and say, you know, up to the podium, ask the preacher, you know, I'd like to make a statement. I need a I need a roommate, somebody help me pay the rent, I prefer it to be a Christian, you know, but, you know, she decided to put it in the paper and maybe reach out to other people in other churches, because she didn't, like, want to drive around and put the stuff there, either. She's looking for a roommate, not a renter, first of all, so when you're looking for a roommate as opposed to a renter, you're looking for somebody that, um, you want to develop a friendship with. Not somebody you just want to do business with. Here, have a room, you know, do what you want, leave me the fuck alone type shit. No, it's a roommate. What do roommates do? Roommates tend to do a lot together. They're, it's almost like being married but without the sex. You know? Um, <laughs> you share your bills, you share your condiments, all that kind of stuff. Totally different from being a renter, as far as I am concerned. And I think that the state was, well, and she just had to put, you know, if she really want to, you know, rewrite this and put it back in the paper, because the paper, uh, they took the ad out, um, she could just say, uh, fundamentalist Christian woman seeks renter. You know, somebody sees fundamentalist Christian, I doubt they're going to have some atheist homosexual apply, you know. <laughs> Unless, of course, the atheist homosexual also happens to be heavily into mental masochism. <laughs> but, you know, I think the state's going a little too far. Um, what a ten-year-old boy calls for jury duty. Oh, God, somebody made a big mistake there. Um, <laughs> um, you know, back to the, back to the thoughts at hand. Um, I don't I think that the state, if they do find her, is stupid. Come on, man, she's just a little old lady who needs some, who wants a roommate, you know, and wants to clarify what it is she wants. It's her fucking home. I think she has that right, you know, Christian or not. She has that right to say what type of person she wants living with her in her ad. Um, you know, it's not a rental, it's a roommate. And I think they, uh, they need to modify the laws, you know. I'm on this woman's side. I'm an atheist, but I'm on her side because it's just stupid shit. If I see stupid shit happening to somebody, regardless of their belief, I'm going to call somebody on it. If this is stupid shit, you know, um, what are they going you, you know, to do? The state's going to sit there and go, okay, I find you a thousand dollars and force you to live with a gay man for a month, you know. <laughs> What the fuck? It's 
this not gonna work? Okay. What? Um. You know, I hope, I hope, I hope the woman finds the kind of roommate she looks for. I hope she gets it, and I hope she's happy. You know, I hope they have a good old time. You know, sit around doing whatever they, you know, want to do. Sit around, read the Bible, watch family entertainment. You know, it's like not all Christians are like um, are like Mr. Pleasant Preacher or Shock of God or Nephilim Free or any of those. You know, most of you mainstream Christians are fundamentally down to earth people who have their shit together. So, that's basically my thoughts on that. I'd say leave the lady the fuck alone. Who cares? You know, I might be the only atheist out here who believes this, but, you know, that's just the way my mind works. Anyway. Leave the Christian lady alone. If she wants to have that kind of person living with her, I think she has the right to decide who her roommate is. Now, if this was a rental, and it was some home she was renting to that she ain't going to be living in, then yeah, I'd have a problem with it. But we're talking about somebody coming and living in her house with her. Someone she's going to be in close proximity to, eating with, watching TV with. Yeah, eating and watching TV with, and um, I wouldn't want to have to do that around somebody I feel uncomfortable with. You know, that's just not going to work. That's just not going to rock with me. So, heard about your problem. Thought I'd give you a thumbs up, lady. I got your back. Uh, don't know who you are. Forgot what state it is, but I saw it on Fox News. So, yeah, I do watch Fox News in the morning. You got a fucking problem with that? I watch Fox News, MSNBC, and um, uh, American Morning with whoever they are on fucking um, Fox, uh, CNN, yeah. I wake up too late to watch BBC overnight. Anyway. No, it's not raining anymore. I gotta go, guys. Talking to my mom.